The historic crossroads of pilgrims and traders. Saudi Arabia's second largest city, fascinating architecture and one of the busiest seaports along the Red Sea. Let's explore Jeddah. Assalamu alaikum, we are currently in Jeddah and this is the second largest city of Saudi Arabia. And it is a very old city, it is founded in the 7th century. The weather is very warm but subhanAllah it is raining today. Jeddah is an amazing city in the Hejaz region in western Saudi Arabia and it was once the only way for pilgrims to reach Mecca, the holiest city of Islam. We are in the Al Balad district of Jeddah and everywhere where you look around you, you see historical buildings and that's exactly where the city is famous for nowadays because of its historical architecture. The style is decorated by wooden details. You can get the feeling of traveling back in time by walking through the narrow alleyways of Jeddah. UNESCO edited the historical Al Balad district to the list of the World Heritage Sites. It was such an experience to enter the historical center as it is so different than the modern architecture you can see in the rest of Jeddah. When we arrived, the shops were still closed as they used to close in the beginning of the afternoon and they reopened again. They sell a lot of things here that I don't know what it is. So it's almost 6 o'clock and now the city comes alive again. Once the only way for pilgrims to reach Mecca, the old pilgrimage road, also known as Al Dahab Street, is a place that retains a real sense of Arabia. Bustling with street vendors, people loading their carts, and brightly colored stores selling nuts, spices, abayas, shoes, fabrics, clothes, and more. We just discovered a market here. Kinds of fresh pesky. And here they sell fresh dates. <laughs> so apparently we are in the street now where they sell all fresh products, so fresh meat, fresh vegetable and all that kind of stuff. It's starting to get dark now, but it is still very, very hot outside. We are really sweating and it is still 33 degrees. And actually it is raining, so it's supposed to be a little bit less warm than normally. In most parts of the cities, they are reconstructing the buildings. So as you can see behind me, they are destroying the buildings and build them over again. Because the buildings were very old and the streets weren't organized, so they are making everything more modern in the country at the moment. Some of the buildings were reconstructed in the original traditional style. As you can see when you look at this building. And this is one of the historical old buildings. What gives the country its special character. There is really a lot of wind now. The weather is really changing. A few moments later, a thunderstorm started, so we were heading back home. Morning, it's the next day, and today we are going to try some food here in Jeddah. We are quite hungry at the moment, we didn't eat breakfast yet. So we are searching for a nice restaurant where we can try some Saudi food. I love to see this style, the wooden doors of the shops. When they are closed it looks like this and when it's time to open they open their doors and you can explore the special colorful stuff that they are selling. What makes the city looks totally different in just a few moments. If 
is another very hot day today and there's barely someone in the street because it's actually too hot to walk here around even and especially today it's also quiet because it's uh, Friday it is around 3 o'clock now in the afternoon and most of the shops and restaurants are still closed in this time they are opening later at the end of the day around the sunset but we found a restaurant here that is open so we are going to try to get some food over there Unfortunately, this restaurant is still closed also. Because the restaurant was closed, we decided to walk a little bit further in the city and that led us to discover more amazing places. What makes Jeddah special are the narrow alleyways and dusty streets. Today the town is famous for its ancient architecture and traditional buildings that were constructed using coral stone and decorated with beautiful wooden windows. We came across the Beb Mecca, the only historical gateway that leads to Mecca, and was the primary gateway to the holy city of Mecca for pilgrims making their blessed journey for Hajj and Umrah. So we arrived at the Beb Mecca, this is the gate to Mecca in Jeddah, and this is the remaining part of a huge wall that they built around the city of Jeddah to protect the city. And this is the gateway to Mecca, what is still here, and it is part of the World UNESCO Heritage Site. In that time they built two gates, one gate to enter the sea part of Jeddah to the Red Sea, and the other gate was here, the gate behind me, that leads to Mecca. In history all the pilgrims, they went under this gate, so billions of people passed under this gate to go to the blessed city of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Jeddah has been around for a very long time and has served for two very important purposes. First as the main seaport of the region and as the port to go to Mecca for religious pilgrims. At one point its people built a huge wall to protect themselves from outside invasions. Over the years and as Jeddah grew, most of the wall was broken down. Only a few parts of it, including Bab Mecca, remained today. And the Beb Mecca is now home to a lot of street cats. I was happy to see that there were people who gave the cats fresh drink water. The drink water is not only for the cats, but also for the many pigeons who are living on the square in front of the Beb Mecca. We went with a taxi to the Corniche because nothing was open in the city center yet. So we are standing in front of the Swarma restaurant. The restaurant. So we're going to eat there now because we are really hungry. the good restaurants here so please let me know in the comments if you have any recommendations if you know any good restaurants here in the city of 
Jeddah. The first day we were a little bit confused how it works with public transport in the city. There are no trams or metros. So just like most of the Saudi people, you have to travel by car. Sometimes you see taxis with the taxi sign on top of the car. But soon we discovered that there are a lot of normal cars who just honk at us, who want to pick us up and they work like a taxi, but they are not official taxis. But this is the system how it works here in Jeddah. So we are standing now in front of the house of Nasif and next to the home you see a tree that was in history the only tree that existed in Jeddah so it's probably also the oldest tree in Jeddah nowadays and as you can see the house is located a little bit higher than the ground and that is because they made water under the house to let the ground floor cool down so that it stays cool at the ground floor of the home. The building has an Ottoman architecture and even though it is rebuilt and reconstructed many times, you can still see in the details of the building the Ottoman architecture. People used to recognize the Nasif house as the house with the tree, because it was the only house in Balat that had one. Obviously, growing a tree was not an easy task, because there wasn't a lot of water in this region. Inside the building they made ramps that were installed to allow camels to walk up all the way to the upper terrace. And they used animals to carry heavy loads upstairs. This now served as a museum but at the moment it is closed. I don't know why exactly it's closed unfortunately. And from 1925 this home has also served as the house of King Abdul Aziz. We are now walking in the commercial center of Jeddah. There is a sugar cane shop where you can buy some sugar cane juice and I always wanted to try this so let's try it Okay Assalamu alaikum Assalamu alaikum So this is the sugar cane juice and I've seen this many times in YouTube videos that people have bought it in the Middle East. It's the first time that I'm going to try it. So let's see if it's really delicious. I want to see what, uh, what you think about it. Mm. So it tastes like, um, like fruit. It has a fruit taste. Fruit? Fruit. It's not, uh, it's not that sweet. I expected it to be really, really sweet. 
but it's not that sweet. Actually, we asked also with lemon, so maybe that's why it makes it a uh, little bit more fresh. But in my opinion, it has a fruity taste. It's a very refreshing drink. I don't know if it's healthy, but I think it must be healthy, right? I think yes. There was a lot going on in this market and they sold so many different things, even things that I couldn't recognize. But what I did recognize was the fresh miswak that they sell on the street from the Arak tree. So we decided to buy some miswak. Al Arak. From the Arab tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. Yeah, you want to buy? Uh, spicy. 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 That's the spicy. 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 That's the normal. As many of you know, miswak is a natural toothbrush that comes from the Arak tree. It has a lot of benefits for the teeth, and it has natural ingredients that works as a toothpaste. <laughs> After Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him told about Miswak, it became popular by Muslims and non-Muslims and saved many of them from diseases that were caused by germs in the mouth. I bought also this work in the Netherlands, but in the Netherlands it is already packed in plastic and these ones are fresh, so I'm very excited to try them. in Saudi Arabia are an iconic symbol of hospitality. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, reportedly declared that a home with dates is never destitute. Dates have been produced and traded throughout the region since ancient times. Today, Saudi Arabia is the third largest producer of dates worldwide. Dates are so delicious to eat unprocessed, but they are also present in a lot of cakes, cookies, sweet pies and bread in the Middle East. The Jeddah Fonte is a popular attraction. The jet of the water rises to an incredible height of 260 meter. At night this stream of water is illuminated and offers an unforgettable sight. When we arrived, we saw a glimpse of the 92nd National Day of Saudi Arabia. The Saudi National Day was first celebrated in 1932 when King Abdul Aziz announced the unification of the country as a kingdom.
It was much fun to see the people celebrating outside on this day.